Hi there, Gemini. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love general messages as a general reading. So the roles might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal reading with me. Okay. So in this reading, Gemini, it's going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be pulling a card about who is it. We're going to be talking about today and what their current energy is like, your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I am also going to be pulling some advice cards for you by the end of the session, okay? Hmm, Gemini. A very interesting energy from your person's side because they have the Knight of Cups, they have the Knight of Wands, and they also have the Nine of Cups in upright position. I feel that you're dealing with somebody here who has a tremendous amount of love for you, and you also feel, and they also feel that you are their wish fulfillment because of how you guys made them feel. However, <clears throat> there is no denying about the playful nature of this card, okay? Because Knight is not a king. Again, knights are not kings, okay? With the knight of cups, it means that you're dealing with somebody here who would like to connect with you because of how you made them feel. And there's also a sense of playful nature within this connection. However, I'm not really seeing it as being something that is mm, secure or stable, not because they don't want to, but it has a lot to do with it's not in their energy at this present moment, okay? Because in the past, you guys were the Page of Swords and also the Chariot. I feel that you learn a lot through your experiences here, especially when it comes to this person. You learn a lot to a point where you were able to study this person. I feel that you know this person from A to Z. Like, if, let's say, you and I were talking here, we're having a conversation, let's say, in a restaurant, you could tell me their exact personality. You would tell me, you could tell me, if they're doing a certain type of thing, why they're doing it? Is it because they feel that way or is it because of the way that they would like to manipulate you or some sort? You can tell me that. Like you could read them very, very well. And I feel that even in the past, you guys were pursuing on something that is bigger than just a mere connection. You were pursuing to become your authentic self. I feel that in the past, you were ready to leave behind the things that no longer serves you. You're ready to even travel to a new city or to a new country or anything like that, just so that you could leave, you know, things that are no longer fulfilling for you because you've outgrown them, okay? Now, in the past, they have the Six of Wands and also the Six of Cups. This person feels as if like this connection is very faded because of how you were able to read them thoroughly, okay? Without them saying anything, you know what to do. And it's a rare type of people who can do that, you know what I mean? It's just like you just get them. And because of that, they feel joyful. They feel victorious. They feel as if like, wow, I am in a relationship where I'm being seen, where I'm being adored, where I'm being worshipped. I'm in a relationship where this person, Gemini, is actually accepting me, my authentic self, my soul as well. So they like that. They like what you give to them. They like how you guys make them feel. But I feel that the same cannot be said about them with you. It's kind of like one-way thing here. So in the present moment, you have the Five of Cups and you also have the Lovers in reverse. The way that you see things within this connection has changed. Even if you have to lose them, you're okay with that. We're going to clarify the, the choice or the decision that you guys are making. Because I feel that in the past, you were kind of like quite grappling with the what should I do when it comes to this connection. At this present moment, no, not really. You've made a decision, and we're going to clarify what that is, okay? In the present moment, they have the Seven of Swords, and they also have the Three of Wands in that preposition. There is a sabotaging behavior here that this person is doing. But we're going to clarify what that is, okay? I don't want to speak too fast. And I think this person is also, at this present moment, kind of like strategizing 
how to get you back into the old energy that you were. But we're going to clarify, okay? In the future, you have the King of Swords and you also have the Eight of Wands in a preposition. You see the progressions from the Page of Swords, somebody who is a learner. You've learned a lot about them. You've learned a lot. You've seek information. You read a lot. You heard a lot and everything like that. But the page is, they're still in a learning process, but not yet to a point where they are using the lesson that they're learning to do something with their life. I feel that in the future, you will. There is a communication where there is something here that you're going to be showing towards this person that is based on the things that you've learned about them. Because you've known them. You've known the good and the bad. You've known. I don't have to tell you anything. You've known it. You know it already, okay? Now, in the future, they have the Two of Swords and also the Four of Wands. I feel that this person is, um, I don't know, could be quite in denial. It's like they don't believe the fact that you're now smarter, wiser, more strategic, wanting things differently in your life. So even with your judgment of them, even with your perception of them, it's like, two of swords, you know, it's like, yeah, but you've known it all along, like why you're just doing it now. So you, this maybe is just an episode for you. At some point in time, you're going to go back to the way that you were. And every thing that you're doing, it's pleasant for them you know even if you were to be communicating with them in a stern behavior they're like yeah i'm getting communication from gemini see gemini hasn't really abandoned me or i they did something and you react on it yeah gemini is doing something like you could be actually doing something that is not related to them and they'd be like ah gemini is doing it because they're trying to communicate with me or gemini is doing it because you know they still care about me so they're trying to get me something Let's get into your reading now, Gemini, and let's start clarifying them, okay? So I want to clarify from your side first, actually. I want to clarify that Five of Cups. And the Lovers in Reverse. I feel that the changes here has a lot to do with you. One, you got them figured, right? You have already figured them out. And the secondly is that I feel that you would like to focus a lot more on yourself because now you're starting to realize the things that you have within you. And I feel that there is a strong determination coming from your side about pursuing these type of stuff about pursuing your good name, about pursuing something that is much more stable for yourself, about you wanting to move forward. And again, as I, as I mentioned earlier, you don't care even if you have to lose this person because your focus is no longer there. It's not that you hate them or you resent them or anything like that. I feel that you are going to be at a point where you're indifferent or you're unbothered. I'm just going to focus on me. I've waited enough. I've became patient enough. Now I just want to be focusing a lot more on myself. I want to be focusing on my financial independence. I want to be focusing a lot more on my sense of security and stability. I want to be focusing a lot on your spirituality. I feel that some of you are actually going to be booking or are going to be looking for something, seeking for spiritual or religious enlightenment something for the soul kind of thing because you're trying to balance out between your practicality and also your spirituality okay let's clarify from their side i want to clarify that seven of swords <laughs> I 
Okay, Gemini, Seven of Swords, clarified by the Three of Swords, the Magician, and also the Seven of Swords in that proposition. This person is very much in denial over the whole situation. They feel that what you guys are doing in the past or what you guys are doing in the now is just a way for you to hurt them so that they could do something or maybe just your way of trying to control or trying to manipulate the situations in general and they're like huh i know what you're doing gemini you're trying to manipulate me you're trying to play hard to get you're trying to this do this because you want me to do like this right okay fine i'm not gonna give it to you although i do see that in the past but i feel that if you haven't feel it in the now, I feel that you're going to be feeling it really, really soon. That you don't operate that way anymore. You're not trying to cause them pain so that they're trying to change. It's just because you're indifferent. It's just because you're trying to live your life. It's just because you're focusing a lot more on yourself. Not because you're trying to hurt them. Not because you're trying to manipulate the situation. Not because you're trying to control them. No, because you want to live a life that is fulfilling for yourself. So Gemini wants to play that game fine. I'm going to play that game too. I'm going to act reserved. I'm going to make less effort. I'm going to withdraw as well. Let's see who's going to crack first. I don't think you're going to crack. Why? Because that was that is not your intention in the present moment. You are genuinely indifferent by it. It won't affect you anymore, you know? The things that this person is doing is like, ah, I've lived through it. I know it. Hmm. Let's clarify the future. So in denial, like, I don't know. But it makes sense, though. Like, I mean... I know some people who are like this, you know, like the signs are literally in front of you, the reality are literally in front of you, and you refuse to see it. You refuse to accept it. And instead, you wave a story in your head about what is actually happening. Let's clarify them, yeah? Eh, <laughs> Okay, I want to clarify the King of Swords from your side in the future. You see this? Like, it's, it's frustrating for me as a reader because I could see what they want with you. What they want with you is things to go back to normal. You being in a relationship with them again, or you being in a family with them again, and etc. What is annoying is that they feel that I could see right through your manipulation, Gemini. If you are manipulating the situation, I would call you out on it. The thing is that I don't see you doing that right now. Because you are genuinely going to be at a point where you don't care or where you're indifferent. Because no matter, especially in the future, Gemini, no matter how much love you feel for this person, how much of a familiarity you feel for this person, how much you use to love, the stability that you had with this person in the past. You're not going to let it affect your judgment. You're not going to let it affect your decision. So I want to clarify that four of wands in the future from their side. Mm -hmm. 
But it would be nice to hear them, you know, being desperate, right? It would be nice to hear them apologize or change, right? Eventually in the future, I don't know, man, like this person is so in denial over the whole thing. Like they refuse to believe that you want something different now, that you change. They refuse to do that. So it's like this fake excitement, this fake happiness of like, no, Gemini still cares. Gemini eventually is going to do this. Gemini eventually is going to crack. Well, some of you wants to hear this, how they're in desperation and everything like that. Maybe this is a manifestation of their de de desperation, of them being so de in denial over this. But I still see this being stagnant, to be honest with you. Um, them kind of like withdrawing, like, I don't know, like, ah, so you want me in pain, Gemini. I don't believe that you want me in pain. I don't believe that you don't want me no more. I don't believe that you don't want what we had in the past no more. I don't believe that, Gemini. I know that you're trying to manipulate me, Gemini, kind of thing like that. So they are, it's supposed to be a painful thing for them, right? But they don't feel the pain because... Again, there is that self-belief of like, Gemini is going to do something. Gemini is going to crack. Gemini, at some point in time, they're going to be the old Gemini that would, you know, make me happy again, that would lift me up again, that would make me feel worshipped, admired, and adored again. You here, focusing on you, but it would be nice to hear some sort of sorry regret, appreciation, assurance. It would be nice. Will you get frustrated waiting? I do see you being frustrated, but I feel that at some point in time, you guys are going to be focusing a lot more on your life instead. Okay, so now let's pull some advice card for you here, Gemini. So, Gemini, the advice here has a lot to do with, I know that you, at this present moment, believes in yourself so much. I know that you feel the need to get your feet back together and to stand in your own two feet again. But the thing is that, Gemini, you are surrounded. Either you recognized it or you're aware of that or you're not. But it's very important for you to start reaching out to your support system so that they could help you out with your life because you cannot do this alone. And I'm not saying this so that you could, you know, be not confident with your ability to do anything. No. But why do things alone? Why having to try doing it alone when you are actually having the resources or having the people that would like to help you out. Reach out to the friends, reach out to your best friends that you haven't met for a very long time. Reach out to your family. There is, you need help. And it's a lot better for you to do it when you don't do it alone. If you would like to have more stability within yourself, if you would like to get your shit together again, if you like to get your life together again, it's better to do it together with people. Maybe this person or maybe the people that you know, the people that you know are who have an unwavering devotions and loyalty towards you who are willing to help you, okay? Because I do see you have that in your surrounding. Again, it could be your friends, it could be your colleagues, it could be your family, whatever that may be. Try to share your burden. Try to uh, maybe not ask for help, but, 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 but tell them like, look, I'm in this situation right now and I'm kind of like confused. What do you think? Like, you don't need to ask help. Hey, can you help me? No. Just what do you think? 
it's better to sort out your problems and your situation at this present moment with people rather than doing it alone okay so i think that is the film reading for you here gemini i hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for and i look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading all right bye, -bye guys have a great day i love you